Seed Saving Education, a Growing Seed Saver project video. In this project participated Danish Seed Saver Organization Frösamlana, Lithuanian Institute of Natural Agriculture, Latvian Permaculture Association and Estonian Madias. In this video we are going to take a look at what kind of seed saving educational activities we're undertaking in this uh, project and we will also be taking a look on what kind of learning materials that have been developed in this project. Let's start with uh, Denmark. The Danish Seed Saver organization has uh, a long, uh, long traditions already in both seed saving and seed saving education. And uh, the aim was to prepare on educational program in seed saving and uh, the Danish partner was responsible for this activity. And in order to do that, the Danish team went on a course themselves to experience, uh, by experienced teachers in the organization so that they would get this education also. Here we have Alan Clausen and he is teaching the principles of pollination and breeding. Alan has been an organic uh, farmer since the 1970s and is one of the founders of the Danish organic organization. Uh, the Danish team were at Alan's small farm where he has produced vegetables for more than 50 years and he has always been seed saving and taking care of old varieties and even work for breeding new ones. So this is also the farm where he was uh, himself brought, brought up at this farm. Uh, then uh, then uh, here at this photo you can see Niels Olaf Crossland, uh, a biologist, and he has taken over the teaching and he is talking about the principles of seed saving. Here we have moved to Alan's greenhouse and Alan explains how he is breeding onions, kale and Brussels sprouts in different years uh, to avoid crossbreeding. And the same is explained then in winter vegetables outside. Niels Olaf Crossland uh, explains principles of taking seeds from kale. And the last lesson, Alan shows books about seed saving and gives away some of his own seeds. So after this, then the seed saving curriculum was uh, compiled. And uh, after this, then the Baltic countries, Latvia, Lithuania and Estonia was going to test this seed saving curriculum and uh, the seed savers uh, traveled uh, then to Denmark and we uh, tested it on ourselves the first time there. As you can see then this uh, uh, lesson plan and, uh, and then also what kind of materials that uh, are being handed out. So the first uh, 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 first uh, seed savers arrived to Denmark and uh, we were uh, greeted by the Danish seed saver organizations represents and uh, uh, we first visited the botanical garden in Copenhagen where we got then in info, a lot of information about the botanical garden and also where uh, talking about plants and looking at different plants in the garden. Afterwards, all see happy seed savers went to a farm where the seed saving uh, curriculum 
uh, was going to be tested. And uh, arrived at the farm, the education could begin. Vivi is here telling about the basics about seed saving. And afterwards, we, uh, we uh, went out into the greenhouse and started under uh, Alan's guidance the practical, exp uh, the practical training. And here you can see uh, carrot tasting and uh, we, were, we learned on how to choose uh, carrots for seeds. So even if you cut up and taste these carrots, you can leave this uh, upper part and the upper part you can actually plant and then you are sure you get those carrots that you like or that taste. And uh, all of the happy seed savers took a lot of notes in order to remember everything afterwards. We had a lot of discussions and uh, we also had some hands-on activities in uh, cleaning seeds and uh, again outside with a little bit help of the wind we could clear, clean it even more. There are many different types of seeds and uh, the different seeds have to be cleaned in different ways. For example tomatoes are the seeds are mixed in water and poured then on for example a paper to dry and from here you can then um, uh, use them. You don't necessarily have to uh, pick them off the paper but you can just take a part of the paper and you can uh, uh, sort them together with the paper also. Um, a very interesting part was the different kinds of seed envelopes and how to make them. And this did, we also did practice. And here a group picture of uh, the whole um, project team. And of course a little bit seed saving as well and seed swapping. Afterwards, Frö Samlana also published articles about this event at their homepage. So Estonians uh, made the first seed, seed saving education in August 2019 in southern Estonia. And there was about uh, nearly 30 uh, or a little bit more than 30 uh, participants. And of course, also here, this handicraft in making envelopes, it's, it was really interesting and we had handed out then a simple scheme on how to make these seed envelopes and everybody trained themselves in making seed envelopes. We had arranged some kind, uh, different kinds of exhibitions. We had one of different types of cereals. We had a book exp expedition um, or exhibitions and then we had uh, of different kinds of tomatoes and also a little bit uh, chili uh, pepper and cucumber and uh, then uh, everybody could uh, also try themselves to uh, clean some seeds and it was also demonstrated and we had different kinds of tools and seeds to train on uh, at the end we went out on a field in a permaculture garden and uh, could then uh, learn to identify different kinds of plants and uh, the owner of the garden also explained about the plants and the histories uh, about the plants and we could see different kinds of methods in gardening. Uh, we did also uh, talk a little bit about soil and uh, how to get uh, uh, healthy and, and uh, seeds full of strength. And of course, again, uh, there was a large interest in, uh, in exchanging seeds. 
In the beginning of September in Estonia, it was arranged a workshop on legislation. And at this event, it was the first time ever that uh, heritage plants were shown to the public in a pretty large exhibition. And we had many different kinds of uh, edibles in the exhibition. And this exhibition was also extremely interesting for the newspapers and the journals, and many were also writing articles about this afterwards. At the end of uh, September, um, we made uh, small lectures on garden history and seed saving, as well as a potato exhibition at Sarama Island. And many people could uh, get to know uh, and see these many different kinds of old Estonian potatoes that they have perhaps heard about but not seen for a very long time. And uh, at this uh, same event, we were also distributing officials' brochures on plant health. And uh, uh, we also introduced uh, a new book on Estonian garden history, which has been written by one of the Estonian seed savers. In the beginning of October, we kept uh, a one-day seed saving event. The first one was a two-day event in southern Estonia, but now we made a new version of the curriculum uh, that would be suited also for one-day events, and this was kept in Raplama County. And um, also here we had uh, around 25 participants. And also here we arranged a uh, book exhibition on different books connected to seed saving and some hands-on activities uh, where um, people could try uh, different kinds of seed uh, cleaning methods and uh, try how easy or hard it is to, to get the seeds out of the plants. Tomato seeds being here uh, shown how to, to take them. And afterwards, it was some outdoor activities. We were looking at the garden and uh, we also helped to move a big greenhouse where it was needed a lot of people to move it. So uh, here indoor already late autumn, the greenhouse is not that green indoors anymore, more brownish colors and ready seeds. But the kale is still green here out in the field. And people were very interested to listen to the experience uh, that uh, gardeners had. Then to Latvia. Uh, the Latvians, they were at uh, television and telling about seed saving and why it is so important to save our heritage seeds. And uh, uh, in Latvia, there was also a lot of uh, uh, writings about seed savings in different kinds of newspapers, journals and portals. And uh, journals. Uh, our Lithuanian partner was at the radio show and uh, could there tell about the seed saving. Uh, Lithuania have also successfully been reproducing such easy bushes such as different currants, gooseberries and raspberries and shared the information on how to do that with us. And uh, the Lithuanian uh, partner have uh, two very active Facebook groups where uh, information have been shared to many members. The project have a known homepage, growingseedsavers.org, 
and all partners have then contributed with uh, information to this homepage. During the project, we worked out three booklets. The first one is a guide to seed saving, which is based on the Danish Seed Saver Organization's guide and then have been developed to suit the each Baltic country's um, situations. And uh, then it was made a guide to making heritage plant inventories. And in this, you can find, for example, what kind of questions you said, should remember to ask when you are doing a, a heritage plant inventory. The same inventory, it goes also if you make an inventory in the whole garden. And the inventory includes uh, also four examples of stories of plants. And then it was worked out the legal aspects of seed trade and exchange in the Baltic States and Denmark from seed savers point of view. And if we then take a look at all the, the different language, languages that the documents have been made in, then, uh, then we hope that this will contribute now to uh, more people to get an understanding about the heritage plants. Uh, two basic sets of, uh, of uh, PowerPoints have been worked out. The first one is Growing Seed Savers Basic about seed saving. And the next one is about garden history. And each country have then been making uh, own language versions of the learning materials that they have uh, been using. During the project, there was worked out a form which can be used uh, to distribute the link in the public so that the people can suggest an old plant. And uh, this information that is coming in via this uh, formula, it, it will then be gathered into one uh, Excel, so it's very easy access for the uh, organizations uh, to, to uh, to see what kind of information and what kind of plants have been sent in. Then uh, the information that was gathered from the garden inventories and garden expeditions uh, have also been uh, uh, put into a database. And, uh, and this uh, uh, has been uh, developed based on Google tools. So they are easy to use and uh, easy to keep uh, running also, uh, practically free. And, uh, and uh, we are now building up the databases for each country with plants. So the first plants have been added to the database and it has been tested and we know it's um, easy now to function and easy to use. And the next steps uh, will be to uh, um, educate more people to use the database and to fill in it with uh, more plants. Then we have been making press releases about the project uh, activities and results. And uh, one has been on the education, one on the garden inventories, and one on the seed legislation, and also one on the database. Growing Seed Savers, Baltic Nordic Seed Savers Education Innovation was founded by the Nordic Council of Ministers program NordPlus. The video content does not necessarily reflect the Nordic Council of Ministers' views, opinions, attitudes or recommendations. <laughs>